Well, hello. <laughs> welcome. I am Noah, and welcome to Noah's Arts Entertainment. I thank you so much. You've been following me for now. It's been five months and one week that I've been involved in this, and uh, I see an increase of subscribers, and I really love that. Right, not counterclockwise, clockwise. All right, so this show is about a lot of things, right? Um, mainly, well, not mainly, it's about a lot of things. Noah's Arts Entertainment is a conglomeration of the arts and sciences, pretty much. So we study esoteric science, metaphysics, we study the Hebrew Kabbalah, we study the chakras, we study mantras, mantras, you know, the ones you chant, so you can get into this all right, state of being. And it works, trust me, it works. Mantras meaning mind, man, mind, tra, action, mind, action. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, and uh, I haven't shaved and really, I, hey, that's another thing. Um, what else do we study here? Well, we go a lot of stuff, you know, um, alchemy, you know, metamorphosis, transformations, altering of, of consciousness level, you know, awareness, you know, sometimes you just kind of like recite to that, you pretty much know it all, or it's the same kind of BS for you all the time and whatever, you know, now it's time to evolve, this is about evolution. Viva la evolución! <laughs> Long live the evolution. And, you know, really it's it's something that is very important because, you know, um, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but, you know, the Midwest has always followed at least three decades, maybe two and a half, three decades behind. Um, California, the place you want to be. Uh, move it up that truck and go to Beverly. No, but the thing is, I never made it to California. I mean, I toured as a musician everywhere. Let me not go so far, my goodness. Again, I am Noah. This is Noah's Arts Entertainment, and I welcome the new ones, okay? And all of you are uh, tuning in right now. Uh, we need to get the party going here. <laughs> and... Uh, so yeah, we, we cover a lot of themes, and if you look through the channel, you'll find uh, 15, 20 videos thus far that I've done. Uh, I've done like a, once a week, so you, for four weeks, five months, you figure it out. And so, and each theme is different. My goodness, it's different. It's, it cannot be stereotyped here, my friends. Oh, freaking way. Not at all. So now we uh, tonight is we kind of want to dedicate to um, what I call a, they call it an actor hitliner, you know, and it's done in writing and it's also done in video, but within a few seconds. This is not going to happen here. I'm going to talk on, you know, I'm going to go from one art that I do, because this is, again, Noah's Arts Entertainment, so it's a conglomeration of, uh, you know, uh, you know, mystical mysticism and, and also about uh, arts, you know, music, singing. Uh, it's about being a voice actor, you know, and uh, storytelling and it's, like you said, it's a conglomeration. So that's why I say, you know, something will resonate with you if you just check it out. You know, give me that courtesy of checking that out and you'll see for yourself that, that yeah, something will resonate with you. Oh, the supernatural. <laughs> okay. This guy, Guillermo del Toro. Hello, man. If you're out there watching... I'm here, man. This is this is it. Guillermo del Toro does he like supernatural stuff? 
I know all about it. <laughs> I've lived it. I've survived it. I am a spiritual warrior. And um, I fought many wars, and I know what it's all about. So my friend, Guillermo del Toro, right? You're the brother of, uh, I like him too, man. Uh, I'm really bad with names, but your brother, I think, is the brother. I don't know, same, same name. <clears throat> um, Benito? Yeah, Benito del Toro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he's okay with me too, man. So look, um, I just say that, you know, I've been involved in all this stuff, which is most real and raw. And, uh, and there's no lie, there's no deceit. It's all very, very real. And yeah, sure, supernatural, right? So in the physical world, we don't uh, focus on that, you know? We don't, uh, well, some of us do. I mean, look, I mean, this it's an old world, right? So history repeats itself and there are mystics and there will always be mystics and there will all be uh, fraternities and secret societies and all kinds of stuff. It's always got to be that, you know, and the studies keep going from, from the end. If we do come to an end here of uh, being homo sapiens, right? It means we're earthling, homo sapiens. And then there was before, there was the um, Atlanteans. And then there was the Lemurians. So we're like a uh, third world, man. <laughs> Although, you know, and technology always played a role in the, uh, either, you know, the advancement, sure, the advancement. But then the greed and destruction starts coming in, you know, coming into play. So it's all the same old story that like my mother, God rest her soul, used to say, same old story. <laughs> and um, so somehow she had a lot of savvy about politics and stuff, uh, more so than my father, God rest his soul. And my father was a great man, a merchant, you know, uh, he was a leader in his own he had his, he was self-employed and, you know, it takes a lot of discipline in order to uh, be self-employed because, you know, uh, otherwise you don't get that steady check every week, every month, or every two weeks. So, yeah, it takes cojones and intelligence and mathematics, right? And that's what he had. So, and that's what, pretty much what I've been doing lately, you know, I've been you know, running my own business, my own service. So the thing is, I got so busy at one point and I left uh, Multimedia Works. I have a resume. This is not BS at all. I have a resume. Everything that's on that resume is true and accurate. <laughs> so, and some things I didn't even include, you know, so I'm being modest, but you know, it's, it's it's not extensive like you know it's just enough for you to say you know what this guy is something special <laughs> and you you got and that's got to come from you and you know i i gotta talk i gotta say something right i mean you know i can't be so modest but yeah everything on that resume you'll find it on linkedin um my profile, my actor's profile, is that you find it under articles. I've written a couple of art articles, uh, but not lately. I wrote them in 2014, 2015, 2016. And now I'm doing them in, in not just audio, but I'm doing them uh, on video. Some of these themes, some of these themes, articles that I wrote, you know, the last one was, uh, it sickens me to no end. <laughs> It's about those people that are, I don't know, okay, I don't want to get into that, but, you know, it's people that commit suicide, you know, when really um, there's other people that are, have a stronger 
and greater need to uh, end it because they surely, surely suffer, you know, and they don't have any of these luxuries, you know, no connections, politically connections, and they don't have all this stuff, you know, the, uh, the nurses, the, the, the medical, you know, the greatest surgeons, the greatest psychiatrists, psychologist, et cetera, et cetera, you know, so, yeah, so yeah, that's, that's the thing, you know, and um, I gotta tell you, you know, it takes balls to live, it takes balls, and, you know, if you want to call it spine, let's call it spine, you know, without the balls or the spine, eh, it's, nothing admirable sorry to say because when the going gets tough tough need to act they need to come in and help and rescue and do whatever that is you know just like the warriors you know some people have um, they say most people most of us or if not all of us have some kind of guiding angel or some protector or some and well, I surely do. I mean, you know, I, I mean, just because uh, I've learned to uh, be able to identify who they are and and work with the with their forces, you know, uh, and you know, so so that's the thing, you know, you, you have to have some sort of um, belief, trust, faith in something, you know, if. Whatever spiritual work you've done before, which is proven uh, uh, 100%, or they did prove to, to to do what you wanted it to do, you know, you what you not just asked, but would you help create, you know, with your awareness, with your faith, with your level of trust and faith and, and belief, you could do this, you know, this called alchemy. But yet, there always will be a higher power. And, you know, so we, uh, we need to be aligned. We need to be aligned with this so we can operate accordingly, you know, to what we want and need and stuff, you know. So sometimes, you know, it's people go through uh, hardship, you know, uh, and uh, dark times and you know, bankruptcy and I don't know, stuff like that, you know, and, and, you know, it kind of breaks you, your spirit, you know, kind of breaks your spirit and, well, it does because you have, especially you have a family, you have, you know, daughters, or you have kids, the general children, they're responsible for you, do not want an easy way out, you don't want a cowardly way out, you want to be able to provide for them. That's your focus to get it back together how you were when you first formed this family with that same force, you know, that same what was working for you, you know, but it takes two. The wife, husband, combined, force of one. Otherwise, you know, it, it's really, you know, you're when you think you're winning, you're losing. <laughs> so not good, not good at all. It's tough, not good. And so, so yeah. So tonight, again, it's about me having seven years, and actually, I did like three years when I was much younger. You know, I think I was nineteen when I started. It was from nineteen to twenty-two. Age of 22, I, I was in the fashion section every time, you know, for every season, you know, come winter, summer, spring, fall. I was always there with the best uh, Hart Schaffner and a lot of good uh, Oscar de la Renta and uh, all these uh, Yves Saint Laurent and oh my God, I got to learn about all that stuff. And well, you know, then I went back to music because 
Because music was my first thing. I started at 17 to tour the United States. And so that was my first love. And I played my trombone. And I wanted to practice my trombone. It's like right there. But I've been focused on trying to develop the voice. It brings me to tonight. Before I did this, I recorded I'm in the mood for love. <laughs> I am. But um, it's another story, another show. But this is the re audio recording uh, through soundcloud.com. But I have posted on LinkedIn. So if you have my LinkedIn account, Noel, Noel Noah Cortez, right? Noel Noah Cortez or Noah's Arts Entertainment, you should be able to get there. If you want to connect, you connect, you know, you ask. Um, but yeah, to lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, tonight I did do it, I did do it. Yesterday I didn't even have a voice. I woke up and I, <laughs> I couldn't really, I didn't have a voice because the air conditioning was too high. I don't like humidity, forget about it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so, so, yeah, pretty much all the cover that I've been in some independent films. I've done some supernatural stuff. I've been involved personally and in, it's very young and supernatural occurrences and paranormal, whatever you want to call them. That's why I said, where are you, Van Del Toro? What's his name? Oh, gee, I forgot your name already. Well, Benicio Del Toro is your brother. You, my friend, uh, you produce Supernatural. If you're there somewhere, man, hey, I will know a Cortez, and I'll be here for you. And uh, we'll work together. We'll get this thing happening. You know, it's going to be, I haven't seen a movie like what I have right here. Not at all, man. So we can work this thing. We can make it happen. We can make it happen. Mm -hmm. We can make it happen. Um, so yeah, tonight it was mostly about this uh, thing about, you know, I've sang before, um, <clears throat> um, I was being showcased after being, uh, down, way down in the dumps when I fell face down, I fought to get back up, you know, because that's the only way when you're down, the only place you can go is up. So. I had the cojones, the, um, the determination, if you will, to get it together through um, a lot of workout, a lot of, uh, it helped me emotionally, it helped me mentally to do physical work again, because I had not done physical work in, oh my God, so long. So, uh, so yeah. Once I did this, I lost 28 pounds and I felt so much better about myself that I um, suddenly I was being showcased at some of the um, uh, upscale um, nightclubs. And I was being showcased. I would do about six to seven songs. And, uh, and then I would, uh, yeah, so I was being showcased here and there, you know, so I could get booked. And I did this in uh, a couple of cities. And she was an excellent agent. I, I ended up having two agents. Then I did a, 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 a commercial uh, where I played a corporate attorney. And I'm going around the table and I'm bitching at everybody. And uh, because sales are down or whatever things are not happening. So so yeah, so yeah, I've been doing, I've done some stuff, you know, I played a psychiatrist, uh, played a psychologist, I played a patient, I played a doctor. Um, and I did some uh, comedy. You know, I played a um, <laughs> Professor Steve Sanchez of Macho 101. So yeah, I would um, hold a class and then suddenly I would in between, I'd flirt with somebody and tell them to wait for me after class and stuff like that. 
and uh, that was called Latino logs. And so, yeah, comedy was, was a 10 minute monologue and I mastered it uh, within a few weeks. It was a 10 week engagement. And then, um, yeah. So, um, a lot of things that I've done in the past professionally sang again. At that time, I needed to come back to Chicago and I left whatever connection there and I left those connections behind because I need to come back and face my demons. You know, that's why I was gone in the first place. I needed to regroup, I needed to resurface, I needed to raise myself back up, you know, not just dust it because it was pretty rough. When you fall face down, it's it's not easy man, because you gotta, like I said, put a lot of valor, a lot of courage. Right? To be able to uh, and the wisdom. I had acres of land where I could just go under the trees and I'd work with hawks, I work with falcons, work with eagles. <laughs> it was and then of course the highest of all in the mystical world we know as the phoenix. The one that rises from the fire and the ashes, which is what we need to do, right? To be connected to whatever society, whatever, but uh, as an initiate, as a student, uh, you need to prove yourself continuously uh, so you can go into a different, a higher degree, you know, when you prove that you keep asking for help, well, you become a nuisance. Yeah. Not me. I don't uh, kiss up to anyone and I don't mainly ask anyone for anything. But someday I may have to. And when that comes, it has to be done. Because I had, I did on my part what I needed to do. And that's all anyone can ask is it? a student to be able to do what they need to do, what they're instructed to do, what they need to learn, practice, but memorize, train, you know, exercise it in your daily lives, in your professional lives, you know, all this kind of stuff. So, so yeah, all right. So, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff, you know, that's why I say, you know, you got to part from me in some kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe they have one of those, what do you call those, uh, uh, reality shows. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Look at my fucking videos and tell me that I'm not qualified. All right? Look at me in my eyes and tell me I'm not qualified. I don't think so. So, yeah, I want to thank each and every one of you because, you know what, it's... It's a beautiful thing always to get in front of this camera and be able to connect and communicate with each and every one of you, you know, because you are making this happen for me. I am, you know, offering what I can from, you know, I, I there's other things that I, I will offer. Tonight was a night of, I felt artistic. I felt like I need balance. So I need to focus on this thing and continue to develop. I have recorded tonight, uh, I'm in the mood for love. And I think, but I know that I did it much better than previously. And that's what this whole thing's about. As far as recording audio, it's a continual process of recording rehearsals and checking out the, the, uh, the advancement, the development, you know, and then finally come to say, you know what, uh, I need to put more hours in this. I think I've got this. And then you just go boom, 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 soon ready for video audio. And that's what I'm going to bring, hopefully, in September, the day I'll always remember. It's my birthday and it's the day that my father died on my birthday and it's something that I cover with me and 
There's nothing I can do about it except try to, to make the best of it. Every year, the same thing. So vivid memories. But this is, a, that's for another thing. I don't want to get into traumas and dramas right now. And, but, but it is part of acting, you know, it's all part of it, you know. And so uh, voiceover, I've done voiceover for a lot of industrials and done some, I think I've done a couple of narrations. And, and now I want to go into storytelling and it's what's called singer of songs where you uh, recite prayers and things like that. I've done that before. I've done the King, uh, Invocation of King Solomon. I've done the Shema. I've done um, it, some of the, um, yeah, some of the prayers. Um, Kabbalistic Invocation of King Solomon. I said the Shema. There's a third one that's a powerful one. And I do, <laughs> but can't think of it now. I don't want to keep you too long here tonight, but you know what? I surely, surely appreciate your, you know, your your goodwill to be able to, you know, if you like what to, what this kind of stuff, you know, I, again, I have a lot of different stuff. I just need to, you know, uh, come up with a theme for next week uh, or sometime during the week and, and do something where we can uh, maybe do some chats. You know, uh, with all that stuff, I wanted to be able to program it and offer it um, once I have my website and all that stuff together. So you can go in there and click on these um, mantras and, and you know, um, I'm going to have you know, stuff about the chakras, uh, stuff about the Kabbalah, the Hebrew Kabbalah. And so again, mysticism, alchemy. Uh, metaphysics, esoteric science, music, singing. Again, look out at LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Go to my Noah Noah Cortez or Noah's Art Entertainment on LinkedIn. You can hear it's on SoundCloud, but it's on LinkedIn. You'll be able to play it. And uh, hey, you know, I see some improvement. I see something better. So I'm going to continue and Hopefully by, you know, somewhere near September or if not mid-September, get something done and get it out there on video finally, audio and video. This way I will portray a character. I will dress accordingly and hey, that's no one's arts entertainment. All right. That conglomeration of a lot of things. I thank you with all my heart that you were tuned in tonight. And I ask that if you like this, you know, like, uh, you know, share and subscribe, subscribe. Uh, I, again, I see the numbers going up and I really need, you know, subscribers and make this thing happen. But I will offer you and I will share with you and I will convey stuff that I know personally that I don't know how many people know this stuff, but, you know. I've kept it, I zipped it for so many years, trust me. And now the last maybe, wow, here, the last five months, but I started to engage and, and, and being able to uh, release some of this knowledge because it's all contained. And it's like in the Kabbalah, you know, the crown, it emanates and it overflows, you know, the cup runneth over a, a lot of information that you, contain and sometimes you cannot contain it so that's the process i'm going to i want to share this with you i want to get this thing happening I want this to grow and i need you to like to share and subscribe that's all all right so anybody else all right so uh thank you again that the gods be with you with your families when I say the gods, I always talk about the Pantheon gods. And if you don't know about the Pantheon gods, then look it up. I don't know, Wikipedia or whatever. Thank you so much. Uh, God speak with you. Let's tell you how it's going on here.